Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We have an interesting bio today. The stray cat got into the car and it's melted uh, completely. The cat body, the carcass has been removed. We're trying to get a much of that clumpy, waxy, melty stuff up. Hey, what's up guys? We have an interesting bio today. So we're on our way to Lithia, Florida. We have a lady who is elderly, who left her trunk open while she was bringing in the groceries for a while. Um, there's a lot of stray cats on the property. A stray cat got into the car. She didn't realize the cat was in there, shut the door, and she uses her car about once every couple weeks. So the car is in the back seat. Um, it's melted. Uh, completely so the cat body the carcass has been removed however we're here to clean up the bio of that so it should be an interesting one we're doing an animal bio today so stay tuned So right now, as always, we're gonna use indicator and we're gonna start off um, indicating every, every general area of where the visible biohazard is. Um, because obviously we wanna know what our full scope of work is. I need to know if there's potentially blood or bodily fluids from this, from this animal on different seats that I may not see with the naked eye. So that's why I need to indicate to kinda, so we can game plan and get ahead of time and, and, and get this done. Alright guys, so as you can see we hit it with part A. We're treating it right now. We're trying to get a much of that of that clumpy kind of waxy uh, melty stuff up that we can for lack of a better term uh, so what I want to do next is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these carpets and I'm gonna start removing my seats here because that bio ran underneath that passenger seat um, the front the front passenger seat as we can see indicative by indicating and visual inspection as well right so but once it hits that metal underneath the carpet um, it could have run all the way to the front, so we don't know. So that's why we got, we're going to pull that carpet regardless, but we're going to look underneath, we're going to indicate, and we're going to see um, that. So right now, we're trying to get as much of that substance up so we are not slinging it everywhere else when we start pulling and pulling the carpet out, right? Just to save us time and save potential cross-contamination of just anywhere else in the vehicle. So we're going to hit it with a, uh, with a HEPA vac. Once we got it all foamed up and thick, we're going to suck it up in a HEPA vac, um, and then we're going to start cutting that carpet out. So. Hey guys, so it's important to note that you may not see us putting it in a bio bag and a bio bin like normal. Well, to answer that question that I know you guys are going to have about that, in the state of Florida, animal waste at all, any dead animal, any decayed animal, doesn't matter, uh, is not considered bio waste in the state of Florida or biohazardous, right? So we're treating this as a biohazard for our safety and because that's what the client wants, right? But at the same, at the end of the day, uh, we do not need to take the same OSHA precautions or dispose of it as we would if it were human. Because in the state of Florida, animal is not considered uh, biohazardous. It's really important when anytime you're going to take a seat out of a vehicle, um, 
especially front seats or anything like that, that you uh, that you check to see if the seat has an airbag installed into the, the seat itself, right? So this one, as you can see, if you come here with me on the side, it says SRS airbag right here. So that means there's an airbag in this seat. So what that does basically is any side collision, anything that happens, that kind of barricades you into the seat there and protects you. So if I go unplug in this seat and unplug the wiring harnesses underneath without disconnecting the car battery, this is gonna go off. So I don't want that <laughs> to happen and ruin the seat, obviously. So it's important to always check that before you're pulling these seats out. You can see where it ran through right here. It is completely red and brown with maggots on it all the way down. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm taking my trusty dusty socket set and I'm taking these seat bolts out um, so I can pull the seat out. We, un we unhook the battery. That way, like I said before, the airbag doesn't go off when I unplug the wiring harness from the seat, we'll call it, uh, went underneath the seat. So I gotta get the carpet underneath it as well as black parts of the seat around the back screws. What we're doing in the meantime, kind of we're working uh, multiple angles here. So I'm pulling the seat out while Shauna is, what she's doing is wiping down all the stuff, kind of just trying to disinfect as much as we can as we go. I'm actually having trouble getting the screw because my finger is slipping from all the, uh, all the liquid, liquefied cat fat that's on here. guys so what my next step is as uh, here just as I would do if I pulled up the flooring of a house right I'm gonna treat that subfloor right so what I'm gonna do here um, since it's not an absorbent material like uh, concrete or anything that a subfloor normally would be I'm gonna spray this with shockwave on this metal to, to disinfect this so I, I treated it with part a three times I made sure nothing else indicated I made sure that um, that padding substance that's on the floor is actually a harder rubber material. So what I, I don't actually have to pull it. So I made sure that I don't have to pull that out or if I did. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit it with shockwave and I'm gonna disinfect that whole area. Um, all the, the we, we did the rest of the car already. So what I'm gonna do now is just that direct spot where the bio was. underneath the floor floor mat it's clean oh yeah not one bug 
Huh? Let's put down the screws. Yeah, the one. Clean off these bolts to put back in the car so we can uh, clean off any residue from the uh, animal. Don't want that smell still in your car. It's out of line. because of the odor has gotten into obviously the AC system in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the fogger on, I'm putting the car under circulate and I'm gonna fog this thing out for probably five, 10 minutes and let it circulate through the air duct system and disinfect and get rid of and neutralize any odor or germs that are in the AC system. Cause I just had my face in front of it, turn this thing to four to turn it on, I could definitely smell it in there, so. You want me to put this in the front? Yep. It's my first time uh, cleaning up um, after an animal that passed away in a vehicle and it's quite smelly, um, quite sad actually, but I had fun today. It was uh, great working with Nathan and got the job done really fast. All right guys, so end of the day here, we're wrapping up. Um, again, we had a cat bio melted in the car. We cut the carpet out uh, on the back passenger side all the way uh, under the seat as we indicated and as we pulled the carpet up we found that it had run a little bit underneath uh, the seat so we pulled that seat out we unbolted it we unhooked the battery like i explained so we didn't pop the airbags we cleaned off the seat um, fortunately none of the upholstery on the seats themselves were nasty it's another good day with spalding decon thanks for watching guys don't forget to like share subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode for more information, visit any of our locations.